Continuing on with prompt engineering, we're going to deal with patterns. In fact, the rest of the parts of this module on generative AI and prompt engineering for generative AI are going to be on patterns. In the second part, we're going to deal with two of, I don't know, what I would almost consider super patterns because they are used a lot and they're so powerful. We'll talk about few shot and chain of thought, not to be confused with flu shot. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot of shots though. There's one shot, there is few shot, and there's no shot. So we'll, we'll talk about all of those because those are all quite common. So few shot. What this means is for the prompt, you are giving it a couple of examples. A shot is an example. If you talk about no shot, then that means you're giving it no examples. But, or one shot means you're giving it just one example. Usually three shot, uh, usually few shot, I should say, means you're giving it around three or so. But it could be just two. So if we look at this, we are basically having it do sort of a, a, a life insurance. And again, I work for an insurance company, so you get a lot of insurance examples. Lucky you. So here we, here we go through and I'll say applicant one. So somebody applying for insurance are age 45. They have a history of smoking and mild hypertension. Hypertension is high blood pressure. And we say that we, we classify this as moderate risk. The AI didn't say moderate risk for this. We did. It's sort of like we're training it. And this is very much uh, what your training data looks like when you do a fine tuning and other things. But then we have another one, age 30, non-smoker, no significant medical history, obviously low risk. Age 55, history of diabetes and heart disease, obviously high risk. But then you get to the one where you're asking it. So when you're doing few shot or one shot, depending on how many shots you have, so you give it the same information in the same format on this last one, but this is the one that you want it to fill in. And by including really several examples with, with it just helps it to be able to, to do this. So here we're teaching it to give us summaries of these policies. So we give it kind of, and, and this is very much unstructured data that we're giving it here, but you, you can really do that anyway. So we're saying policy A, we're giving it the face amount in US dollars, and then we're having it give us a summary. And you can see that for each of these, it is giving us a summary uh, on these. But then that last one, policy C, that is the one that we actually want information on. And that is the one that it's going to give us the final, the final answer on. So this is few shot prompting. And I give you a third example too, where we're, we're guessing the life expectancy. So we're, we're giving it person A, person B, person C, and C is the one that we wanted to guess the life expectancy. Now in the insurance industry, we, do, we don't often calculate the life expectancy of an individual. We're not very good at calculating the life expectancy of one person but we're really good at taking some block of 1,000 or 10,000 people who have similar health characteristics and guessing how many of them will still be alive at the end of a year. That's kind of more how we think about it than individual lifespans, but this is an example, and we teach it based on these. So it would, in theory, learn to, I suppose, extrapolate that to, or interpolate that to a certain, to a certain degree. And then chain of thought. This gets into kind of some low grade reasoning. So chain of thought, this gets into some sort of low grade reasoning. What you're doing is you're giving it these prompts and you're saying, you're giving it something complicated. Like assess the risk for a 52 year old applicant, non-smoker, family history, all of this kind of stuff. But this is the part that makes it chain of thought. Please explain your reasoning step by step. And some of the training on these later models really does take that into account and that way it'll explain it. And by making it go through each of those steps, it's not just that it's explaining it, it's that it is actually forming a plan. And if you look at the model results that it gives you, you can see that it does form this entire sort of step-by-step -step process 
where it finds out what uh, it reasons through it. Now, if you use GPT-01, it has some of this sort of built into it, where it really does try to come up with a plan for what you're giving it and work through that kind of step by step by step. But chain of thought is very, very important in prompt engineering. So thank you for watching this video. And if you, please subscribe to the channel, give this a like if it was useful. Thank you for watching.